and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all feeling really good. Today is a really exciting day. I'm trying to like get myself in shot so I don't actually look naked because I do have a boob tube on, but if I hold the camera like this, I look like I have no clothes on. Um, we, I, well, me and my brother had a, a really nice day planned today. Last week I made a canvas for my lounge, which I thoroughly enjoyed doing. I really wanted a canvas in here, but canvases are like 300 pounds. And I have art qualifications. Like, why am I paying another artist when I can literally do this myself? So I made my own canvas, which I'm really, really happy with, actually. I really like it. Um, it took me a few days, but since doing it, I've had my brother request three and my mum request one, which I, I cannot wait. My mum wants a huge one, so I'm excited about that. And uh, Ty messaged me, my brother, and he was like, Sunday, do you want to go grab a coffee, go to Hobby Craft, pick out some canvases? And I was like, you're literally speaking my language. Absolutely, yes, that is my dream of a Sunday. So I've just headed to the gym, just got back, got changed. I'm channeling my Barbie vibes. I went to watch Barbie on Friday with my best mate, and um, I literally loved all of her outfits. <laughs> so I'm channeling, channeling Barbie vibes today. Um, but yeah, we just got a chill day. I'll show you my canvas actually. I'll try to show you it from the sofa. So that's the canvas that I made. I, d I used anything I could find. And when I was studying, I really, oh, what's going on out there? I really personally love texture. So that's what I wanted to focus on on my canvas. Um, but I'll show you close up. So we got a few greens creams a bit brown i have got a few hints of black which i liked and then we've got all of this texture um which i created with filler i probably would have done a bit more texture if i was to do it again but i'm happy with how it looks so i don't really want to adjust it right now because i like the whole composition of it as it is i know if i start adding layers more layers i'm gonna have to change it again so i'm just gonna leave that as it, as it is for now <laughs> Delicious. <laughs> like have that, then that one, and then one underneath there. Or I've been back a little while, but I'm literally so tired. I feel like you know when you move house. And just the first month, it just writes you off. I feel like it's just caught up with me this week. We had loads of late nights and there's just, I get so excited, like I overwhelm myself with jobs. So I end up more exhausted than I need to be. But I feel mega tired today. But I got back from Hobby Craft. We picked up four huge canvases, which I'm really looking forward to creating. I actually signed up to an online abstract course by Artify. Um, I don't know if there's any creative people watching this, but they offer an abstract art lessons, essentially. I have an artistic background anyway, but I just want to learn a little bit more about abstract composition because that's quite different to what I was doing when I was studying. So I've been doing some of that this afternoon, which has been really fun. Um, and just planning some things out, which I can't wait to actually pop on to the canvases that I'm going to create. Um, hopefully start them this week, but I want to do some miniature ones first to kind of see what sort of composition I want to go for. So we've got some canvases for that. I picked up, why is Hobbycraft just the best place ever? If you're one of my subscribers and you like Hobbycraft, please let me know. Please let me know. It's not only me that is obsessed with this place. I feel like I've been obsessed with it since I was a kid and it just has like continued. I just still absolutely love it. It just doesn't go away. Every time I go in, I'm like, this is like Christmas day. So Ty bought some canvases. I picked up some palette knives, which I was going to use to create some texture on the canvases. When I was actually studying, I had the coolest art teacher. He actually ended up leaving the college because he sold an art piece at London Portrait Gallery for loads of money, which was like his dream. He'd been doing art for so long. I think he was in his forties and he left and he was just literally the best teacher I'd ever had. He also taught me art history 
and he just knew so much and he I could have just listened to him lecture all day he was incredible um, but he was the one that said like never start your canvas with a white background he was like just paint it any color um, and then start and he was a really big fan of not using a paintbrush to paint so he'd be using palette knives or rulers or a random bit of cardboard that he found on the floor and I feel like that's where my real passion for that sort of art came from because he was so passionate and made me really excited and I still love that to this day. Um, I also picked up Ty wants in his canvases he wants a lot of green he has a really white room and he has he's very minimalistic and he has lots of green plants so I think he wants artwork that's textured but with green and he really liked this green so I picked this one up and obviously I've got all of my primary colours so I can make my own colours as well but he really liked this one so I thought I'd buy him this one so I can pop that on the canvas it's really nice it's like a minty green and then I also picked up this really sweet little petal mixing palette because I don't have one um I normally just use a random piece of paper but I thought this would probably be better to especially if I want to make a big amount of paint I can just oh, store it in here so I picked up one of those um I also have loads of deliveries and obviously we went out well you would have watched last weekend that we went to the range and things and we picked up some stuff in Danaum so this is actually the day after that I'm filming but I just thought it would make too too much of a long video so yesterday we picked up this is really heavy we don't have any bedside tables yet and I really like ugh, I think wood can make your house look less modern if you have different textures in the house I think it's more aesthetically pleasing rather than having say I don't know all black metal metal table and chairs and bed I just think if you have different textures it looks very nice so we picked up these from Danelm um they're like a rustic dark wood with black metal like a black metal frame which I really like and I thought that would look nice with our black chest of drawers and we've obviously got wood in the kitchen as well so I kind of wanted to continue that sort of theme they were really reasonably priced there was two chests of drawers that we really liked one well actually there was three one was 180 pounds and I just feel like we couldn't really justify that for a bedside table the other was I think 127 which we did like and that one was 79 and I just thought I like them both the same so we may as well buy the ones that are a little bit cheaper and then have the money that's left over to get some other bits for the, the bedroom or the house. So Sam's going to build them up for us tonight so I can't wait because the rooms, we, we, we wanted to focus on the bathrooms but the bedroom's kind of coming together at the same time which is really nice. Um, not too sure what this is. Oh there's two things in here. So I bought some new essential oils, I'm not sure what this brand is. But I think essential oils, firstly you can use them for cleaning and secondly they're a really strong scent that isn't gonna harm you so I really like to have them in the house to keep the house smelling fresh. One of my favourite things to do with essential oils actually is if you pop them in the shower before you shower, when you have a shower and it, like the room gets all steamy it kind of releases all of the smell and the shower smells incredible. We did it in the old flat and every time my brother come round he'd be like why does your bathroom smell so good and it was just a eucalyptus essential oil. So I picked up three. I can't even remember what flavour these are. Flavour, what scent? Does anyone else do that? Just say flavour when they actually mean scent. I feel like I've talked loads in this vlog, so if it's too much, just let me know. So there's three in a pack. This is really nice packaging actually. So this one's Cozy Night In. Oh, oh, they're pretty cute. They kind of look like the neon, neon. Oh God, that's gorgeous. That smells like Christmas. That's cedarwood, cinnamon bark, French lavender and ylang ylang. That is so nice. Wow. Oh God, I'm gonna get essential oils from here again always use them to clean so and then I also think there's some matches in here because 
my best friend got engaged about two weeks ago, which was just the best thing that has ever happened. And I'm so happy and just thrilled for her. She's my childhood best friend and just, I could not, I was like, we were both screaming down the phone. It was like one of the best things ever. But I bought her, her house is so cool. She's like the complete opposite of me. It's pink, she painted the front door pink. And she's got like pink retro prints on the wall. So I wanted a retro print for their engagement. And I got this print of Etsy and it said the perfect match. And it had a pack of matches on and then it said the names. And then I also actually found a handcrafted matchbox, which was really cute. It's wooden and had this really funky, it's kind of like old fashioned tattoo design on the front. But um, I got her some extra long matches to go in it because it didn't come with matches. So that's what's in there. Then what have we got? Let's see what's in here. I think these are bathroom accessories. We're so nearly finished with the bathroom. We need shelves put up and a mirror popped up in our ensuite. And I think we're, well, and I need to put up um, my photo frames and then I think we're done. So this is really nice, really minimalistic, and you actually slot your towels into here. So you roll them up and then you slot your towels in and that just stays on the wall. So it's like super neat, which I really think is really, really nice and looks really sleek. Although it's quite thin, I'm not sure. Would it maybe just have to have hand towels in that? I'll see what Sam thinks. But it has also come with these little hooks, which are lovely because we wanted a hook for our calendar and that could be great. And they're just stick on, so you don't need to drill any holes in the wall, which is good for me because I don't know how to use a drill. Which is rubbish, really. I wish I did. I wish I could do all of that sort of thing. I'm so interested in it, but I just don't know what I'm doing. I don't want to accidentally drill into wires or a pipe. I'll have to show Sam that because I think that's too small. But we'll see when he gets home. And then the other thing I got, oh, I think these are caddies for the shower from Amazon. I'll try and link some things below. Whoa. So much packaging. Oh, oh yeah. My goodness, what's that? Oh, a hook. Oh my gosh, there's so many compartments. Ah! Okay, I need to wait till Sam's home because there's like little screws and things, but we've got some little shower caddies so that all the shampoo can stand up in the shower and we can just stick that to the walls. Okay, it's not really that hard. You just slot it into one of these and then stick it to the wall. I don't really want a shower caddy in my bathroom though. They also have a little soap holder as well, but we don't have a little soap. Um, but yeah, we got two of those from Amazon, so that can be nice and neat in the shower. There's quite a lot going on here, so I'm just gonna put this away and let Sam deal with this when he gets home. I'm gonna end the vlog here because I feel like I've talked loads today and it's probably a really long video, but Thank you guys for stopping by. I hope that you've enjoyed this vlog. It was a bit random, I know, um, but I should be posting again next Sunday, fingers crossed, as long as I vlog something. If there's anything you want me to show you, please let me know, but I'm hoping by next Sunday we'll have a few more things up in the house and maybe I'll do a little house tour or something once we've got a few more bits and bobs up and I can tell you some ideas for some of the other rooms as well. I think I want to add a bit of colour to the spare room. Still neutral, but a bit of colour. Maybe like a green or a really pale blue. I'm not too sure yet. See what Sam thinks. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for coming to the channel. And I will see you guys next Sunday. Remember to like and subscribe. And follow my home account on Instagram. And I will see you so soon.